So I've probably spent, I don't know, just countless hours creating our first paddle. Uh, just countless hours, I'll just leave it there. And then I discovered AI. So I've been using that in my own life and work and, you know, for writing stuff and uh, even creating images now. And I got to thinking all of the hours I spent, you know, researching, using my own experience, interviewing other people, what they like, what they don't like. What if I just had a robot do it? So that's what we're going to try to do today. Uh, the two softwares I will be using for this, you've probably heard of them. They're all over the place. Uh, Midjourney and ChatGPT. We will use these to develop the ultimate, the best, the most ultimate dinkaroo paddle of all time. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through what we did here. So we're in chat GPT, and first we just let it know, hey, we're designing a pickleball paddle, and I need your help. And it says, great, what do you need help with? The, the key things, if you are using chat GPT, you can be a little more strict, and I can say things like, um, uh, I like to tell it, answer in only one or two words, or be more decisive, and that way it'll actually give some answers. So. Uh, a lot of text I'm fast forwarding through here, but at the end of the day, we do get a size. We choose uh, eight inches, is it what it suggested? And he says, this provides, I said he, it's a robot. <laughs> uh, it suggests uh, eight inches provides a good balance between maneuverability and the hitting surface area. It also uh, is within regulations. That's good. I didn't even mention regulations and it's pulling this stuff up. So that's pretty cool. Uh, length is 16 inches, which is pretty standard to, I think most pickleball paddles actually. So a little under somewhere like 15.5 or whatever. Uh, so we're within scope. That is part of the, it would pass USAPA. And then thickness, we choose, uh, it says 0.65 and 0.7 inches. Great, we'll, we'll call that decisive. Um, so now we want it to choose uh, its the core of the paddle. Like, do we want to use uh, the new trendy EVA foam? Are we going to do a Nomex core or polypropylene, like every other core? And the answers I got here are actually very interesting to me because essentially they think EVA foam is uh, the most popular core material, which is just absolutely not true. It's not even passing, <laughs> it's not even allowed to be used, when really it's the polypropylene core. Um, long story short, it tells us to you use uh, EVA foam core, so we're using EVA foam core. So next, I wanna choose handle size. And again, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. I said, decide on the handle length in one word, and it says 5.25 inches. Now we're getting some definite answers, which I appreciate. Up next, we are going to say, okay, what is the most popular uh, face that we could use? And this part was interesting because I did not tell it any of the options out there. I just said, uh, please choose the best material and answer in under four words. And it says carbon fiber. So I was like, okay, good job. <laughs> uh, up next, I say, great. There are three types of carbon fibers and we can either have it polished or coated. Uh, what should we do? And it says we're gonna do 18K carbon fiber, which uh, is a terrible idea. <laughs> I, well, I guess not a lot of people are trying it, but I don't know the exact size, but it's like half or quarter inch large weaves. So it's just like very thickly like meshed carbon fiber. Um, anyways, we're going with 18K carbon fiber with a raw finish. I do appreciate that part. And finally, it's time to get into designs. So I said, great. Now I am going to have uh, chat GPT give me the prompt to, to tell Midjourney, the image creator, what to do. So it comes out with this and it says, uh, create a visual representation of a pickleball paddle with a rectangular shape, eight inches wide and 16 inches long, featuring 18K carbon fiber, yada, 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 everything we talked about. And here's where things get wild. <laughs> So we give it our prompt and boom, we have a, a, a something. <laughs> um, yeah. 
kind of feels like I hit a, what's it called? A, I feel stuck. <laughs> this is obviously going to be harder than I thought. So yeah, although this one here with the paddle on top of a paddle, I guess it could work. Maybe there's like a spring mechanism that shoots the ball exactly where it needs to go. <laughs> so from here, I try everything. Uh, I, I give it the exact thickness. I say, make sure it's symmetrical, all of this. And what comes back is the schematics to create the most bonkers paddle in the world. And one thing I love and hate about this um, uh, AI world is it really struggles to create real words because I don't think it has a con, the image ones anyways, don't have a concept of converting words to um, images, I guess. So it like takes the shape of popular words and makes fake words. <laughs> and to me, it's always just, I don't know, I, I die laughing looking at them, uh, trying to read them. It's just, <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, we move on and I really just struggle with this for like a half hour. Um, but these are some, the, another set of schematics I get. This one's interesting where it's like a handle that you would hold like this and then the paddle comes out. It's like brass knuckles, but for a paddle, uh, I guess that could be cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I said I was having the computer choose the paddle and those schematics are what it gave me. So I said, all right, let's fully render it. So <laughs> we go to town and this is what we get. Yeah, pure all. <laughs> uh, again, if struggling with words, but I don't know, we got something. Um, it kind of looks like a golf club face, like of a driver, the, the one on the right there. Um, and none of them have a handle. <laughs> this is not going to work well. Maybe it's like a bring your old, bring your own handle situation, but um, yeah, it's tough. But all said and done, like if you saw something like this on the market, I mean, like imagine that, but in a real shape, it kind of looks cool if it was somehow legal. <laughs> you got to see through to the core. Um, it's interesting. So now it's time for some Hail Marys because this whole project is kind of a failure. Uh, this next one's actually kind of interesting. I said, you know what, let's throw everything out the window. And I said, hey, Mid Journey, create the best pickleball paddle in the world. And our answers are free as hell, brother, because it's just a random American flag on one. The other one's red, white, and blue with a, a, a flag handle. It's almost like it knows there's like a weird um, kind of thing in pickleball where all the paddles are made overseas and everyone kind of does want to see an American paddle. Somehow that's in its data set, I feel like, because... The fact that two of these are very like freedom oriented is kind of funny to me. Um, and then one, I can't tell if it's a tennis player wearing a sweatband or if that's supposed to be uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, on a paddle with like a guitar in the background. Uh, but I will say the design on that one is kind of sick looking. I, I can't, like, that's the best one we've got so far. And then the total wild card is this one in the bottom corner, which is just. Uh, it looks sweet, don't get me wrong, it's kind of like got wood grain and kind of a psychedelic, um, uh, I don't even know what to call that. It looks like very organic shapes and um, I love it actually. That If I were like able to make wood paddles, that would be something uh, badass. <laughs> if, assuming that was like in a real shape, that's another thing. All of these are, except for maybe the Jesus paddle, that one's technically a playable shape I'd say. Um, but the other ones are a little uh, out of this world, especially this beehive one, which has holes in the middle. <laughs> um, but it's really fun. I don't know. I really like seeing these. Next, I said, all right, give me the most durable and powerful paddle. And look at this guy. He's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, first of all, it rendered a fake human. And he kind of looks like an evil wizard. But... <laughs> But he's also holding the smallest paddle I've ever seen. Um, <coughs> I don't know. The other paddles are also pretty cool, but I can't stop making eye contact with, like, I don't know, he's my dad now. <laughs> uh, next, we, I was like, all right, 
let's totally throw everything out of the window <laughs> and maybe I can get some cool images generated for the Kiwi Labs website and I could just get like friends playing pickleball and then I'll Photoshop my paddle in there and it'll give me something until we get people trying it. So it's like, maybe I can actually use this for good. And I say, uh, four, four extremely attractive friends in their thirties playing a game of pickleball with the best paddles ever. And <laughs> just <laughs> everything looks great from a distance, but when you really start to drill in, um, where do I even start? First of all, let's start in the top left. I think these are all the same guy. <laughs> um, <coughs> and their paddle is more of a palette, like Bob Ross paint style. Um, and their mouths, none of them have bottom teeth. <laughs> I guess no one has bottom teeth in like any of these. Um, moving to the right, also just I, I really wish this software could understand what a paddle is because we would be getting a lot further. Um, honestly, this one's okay. You could crop it halfway through and it looks like real people. Um, anyways, moving down to the bottom, the, the dude, from, the guy or the second person to the left um, seems to be Having, I don't even know where to start. The guitar pickleball paddle coming out of the stomach. <laughs> um, this dude's finger <laughs> coming out of it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This one is just like nightmare fuel. Um, and then the one on the right, again, it's just like dudes that, it's like from a distance could look normal. <laughs> but then you're like, he's holding his paddle backwards. Um, the guy in the back has the whitest, craziest teeth I've ever seen. And again, I think they're all the same person. Um, so that was fun. And then I just got crazy with it. So up next uh, is probably the scariest thing you will see today. I said four really good friends playing pickleball, uh, but they are sad because their paddles keep exploding. <laughs> Talk about nightmare fuel. I don't know where to start. The dude on the right with cheese rotting into his skull. Um, up, I don't know, I should probably not leave these ones on the screen because um, it's terrifying. Um, these ones are kind of cool. <laughs> um, it's If the paddle was a lightsaber, sweet, abstract, you can't go wrong, uh, except I think in the top left it thinks we're playing fencing, and then I can't get over the fact that these old dudes in the bottom, um, God help his soul, he's so old he can't even put matching shoes on, so um, best of luck. <laughs> the poor guy on the right's about to get his head chopped in half with a lightsaber. Um, <clears throat> then for the grand finale, uh, I upgraded. So Mid Journey has a newer system and you're gonna see the quality of this final prompt is amazing. They do a really good job, especially from a distance. Things get a lot better. I even went back and tried to redo everything else I did. It wasn't good enough to show you, but it was better, so it's not worth going over again. But this one in particular is worth diving into. So again, I say four friends hanging out, having a good time, playing pickleball. And right away, you're like, okay, seems fine. Especially this one at the top, other than the weird looking paddles, it looks like there's dynamic range in the photo. It's like nicely blurred in the back. It looks like a professional shot. Like the depth of field is like, if you know anything about cameras, it's actually accurate. Um, it's a, insane. It looks amazing. Um, and then we go to the right. It's like, oh, cool. A couple playing in their court in their backyard. And then you look a little closer and you say, oh my God, this guy is built into the net. His leg is sticking through the net. I hope he's okay. Um, and then you see this poor lady who I guess has the coolest paddle of all time because there's a handle on both sides, kind of like a motorcycle. Um, <laughs> love the Birkenstock shoes they're all wearing. Um, then on the bottom left, again, the color tones look really good. Like I, it looks like very professionally edited and the paddles look kind of normal. I think they should maybe trade for proportional sakes. And the only odd thing about this one would be 
the hockey pucks built into the neck or the net. And then if we zoom in a little bit, this guy's poor leg goes like that. <laughs> but hey, we can't can't be perfect, right? These these have potential. I could Photoshop the oddities out of this. Like it's crazy cool. And then this final one, um, same thing. It's it's it looks great. It's just <laughs> the paddles it rendered are insane. <laughs> um, He's holding like a guitar. Uh, <laughs> All right, ready to play some pickleball. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, anyone who watched this whole video, thank you for coming with me on this very, very wacky journey. Um, I think the thesis is we have nothing to worry about when it comes to AI taking our jobs. But we should also be terrified because this is just getting started and it's already came this far in like a year. So uh, it's better to learn how to harness it. So if it does take over, you can like, I don't know, still have a job because you know how to use it. So that's my recommendation, recommendation to everyone watching is uh, play around with these because it's actually fun and there's some cool stuff you could do here. Um, we'll get back to normal pickleball stuff later, but hopefully you like this. If not, I'm sorry. So. Bye. <laughs> See ya.